Good morning, everybody. Sun's up, we're up, and uh, we're getting ready to hit the trail. It's uh, got a pretty good night's sleep here in this uh, Primo stealth spot. And uh, now we got a good climb ahead of us, so we might as well uh, throw our pack on and uh, get at it so we can get it done while we're still in the cool of the morning. So let's hike on. Yeah, just take a minute and show you the climb up uh, South Twin Peak. We're yeah, two thirds of the way up, and this is it. And it's been it for a while, although it's zigzagging down. You can kind of get a feel for uh, just how much climbing there is here. Definitely four point climbing up and down in New Hampshire. Again, views yesterday were worth it. Not complaining, uh, not saying there's much they can do about it. Just telling you if you're hiking in New Hampshire and you're on the AT, you're going to do some four point, you're going to do a lot of four point climbing up and down. We are up on South Twin Mountain and we're looking north. That is uh, Mount Goyette. And once again, hellacious climb, but incredible view. I would assume that is Mount Washington, but that's an assumption based on the fact that it's obviously the highest mountain around here. And it's within a day or two now. Man, it's just five layers deep of mountains. Very, very nice. South and coming around to the west. And Franconia Ridge. Where we were yesterday. Very nice. We're here. We're here on the peak of Mount Gayat. And while it's not listed in the 4,000 footers, it is above 4,000 foot. And as you can see, it does give a spectacular view. But, uh, I guess due to the fact that there's many more prominent mountains around it, it doesn't rain. But it still is gives an impressive view, so very nice.
taking in the view of what they call the Z cliff. Awesome. Looking at just mountains two and three deep, four deep. So we are now following the, or the trail is following where there used to be an old railroad bed, I guess. We came down off that mountain, actually the Z cliffs are right about there, oops, not on the screen, there. So, pretty flat, really flat, so hopefully we can kind of get ahead of schedule a little bit and make a decision as to if we want to try to push to the other side of 302 and knock out... Uh, Tomorrow was going to be a pretty long day, pretty hard day, 19 miles. And so if we could get one or two of them miles today, that'd be, that'd put us in a good spot. So, so yeah, let's hike on and see what we can do. Well, well we're walking down this generally level trail I did want to bring up one thing I seen yesterday that was concerning and really I've seen the past few days maybe it's just because past few days we've been on some very hard trails and I've seen several people with dogs particularly small dogs on trails that we are having trouble negotiating. And so I just scratch my head and think, what are these people thinking? So yes, a dog is always gonna try to please its master, even when it's doing something that is very difficult for it. And so, I think people need to get a little wiser on what their dogs can do and can't do, and what they should do and shouldn't do. Because, uh, yes, one lady had two, like, Chihuahua-type dogs up on Lafayette Mountain. Now, I know she didn't take the same trail that I did to get up there, uh, but we were on the same trail going across the ridge, and it was uh, somewhat challenging for most human beings, and so it would definitely be really challenging, if not too much, for a little dog. Food for thought. Trail magic, burger, dogs, drinks, awesome. All right, well, Nicole put on a great trail magic and we had a hamburger and now we're off again up uh, Webster Mountain and we'll see how far we get. Not 
sure what the 4,000 footer club is. I guess, I assume you've done every 4,000 in New Hampshire. Probably. So, Albert did. And this is the view from Webster Cliff. Pretty awesome. And here is our campsite for the night on Webster Cliffs. And we're up here with uh, six other people what? in our little tent city. Pretty cool. Bunch of hikers just hanging out on the cliffs, enjoying the evening. You gotta love hiking the AT. Well, so we just uh, had dinner, and now we're just sitting around uh, socializing with other hikers. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the day and go spend some time socializing with other hikers. So good day. Uh, we ended up going 17 miles, and uh, really a couple more miles than uh, we intended to. Uh, but that'll set us up good for 16 into Madison Springs tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tonight, so uh, we'll probably start the day in the rain. And uh, then it's supposed to blow over by noon, so hopefully by the time we summit Mount Washington, the rain will be gone. And uh, that'll be nice, so look forward to that. So uh, hopefully... Uh, you enjoyed the day, enjoyed the scenes, and hopefully tomorrow we got some good scenes for you too. So, uh, yeah, good day of hiking. Good views, uh, really enjoying, uh, particularly the summits of New Hampshire. Still not uh, in love with the, eh, the climbs are pretty much normal, but the descents are sometimes tedious. Uh, because you got to be watching every step so you don't slip and fall. But I guess that's the nature of climbing up to high elevations. So anyways, uh, great day and we will see you tomorrow. Good night.